Hello and welcome to Making Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy kit building, making electronic circuits, and do-it-yourself projects, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us with a Vigor Time VT39, it's a robot voice changer kit. Yeah, I said it. Robot voice changer, it's awesome. You can find it selling on Amazon right around $14.99, give or take. This had a 15% off coupon at the time, bringing the price down to $12.74. A fun little project, maybe your second or third one after you've learned how to solder. So let's check it out. Vigor time. Fun project, fun time. Robot voice changer, do-it-yourself kit. VT39. Sweet. So let's open this up and see what we get inside. Yeah, I'm looking for another kit, something fun. And this one looked like a lot of fun, so why not, right? We got a three battery bay. Looks like three triple A's. We got a speaker. Goes on top of the head, by the way. It's kind of cool. I saw the picture. <laughs> I didn't take it out yet, so this is all new to me. So, put this out of here. Put the bag to the side. Let's see what you get. We'll look at that in a second. The PCB, the robot, which I think is pretty cool. Let's take it out of the bag. And look at how they organize those components. Wow, that's nice. I really like what they do. Attention to detail. So you're getting your money's worth when you buy this kit. All right, so here we are, the robot. <laughs> I am. Take me to your leader. <laughs> I am Iron Man. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a record button here. I think a microphone goes on here. Yeah, some LED eyes are going to be cool. Switches here for different modes. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. On the back, we got some components where they're going to go in. You can see capacitors, resistors. Should be pretty straightforward. Uh, very, you know, through hole components, nothing surface mount. The surface mount chip, this uh, MCU probably, has already been soldered there. So you're good to go. Uh, so this is a good practice. Battery bay down here. On off switch. Cool. Everything's labeled real nice. Uh, even the values of the capacitors, that's looking good. Yeah. All right. So let's see what else we got. Our components are all nicely laid out in this tray. That's really nice. I like that attention to detail. LEDs, we got one, two, three, four resistors. That's pretty simple. We got some momentary switches, it looks like. Four of them there. Three capacitors there. Some screws, some standoffs. A couple ceramic capacitors. Looks like we got our on-off switch here. Microphone and... Not sure what that is. Oh, that's the uh, record button. Cool. So we got another record switch. Another momentary off to the side. So yeah, all laid out really nice and clean. All right, let's go ahead and actually flip it over like this. I didn't want anything to fall out. There you go. Yeah, that's a better view of all the little little guys. All right. So let's look at the instructions. Now, I really like these instructions. They're nice. They're always to the point. Color illustrations, which is really fun. And here you go. You got a project overview. A little contact information if you got a problem. It used to be called Vulgar Time, other Vigor Time. So don't let that confuse you. They just did a name change, but they kept their old email. So, all right. So here you go. You got a uh, build list here where all your parts. You can see what's going on. Very cool. Over here, stuff you'll need. I'll show you the tools I'm going to use. Uh, I probably won't use all of them, but uh, I always like to have those on hand. And as you so, uh, get along in your soldering skills, you start to build radios. Some of the stuff I show you, you'll want to have. You got your schematic diagram, so you can just freeze frame that. Chink, chink. <laughs> Before you start soldering, please know. Okay, so it's cool. They give you an idea. Uh, you start out with lower profile components first. That makes sense. It makes it easier to lay the board down as you go. Uh, very nice. And then I think they even have a little primer in here. Soldering and install steps. There you go. There's step one. Let's go real quick here. So what I'll do is I'll be showing you probably pictures of the build process. I'm not going to build this thing live because it's just a pain. <laughs> My setup isn't quite uh, conducive for that. Yeah, just three AAA batteries. Cool. And that's how you operate it. So it'll be fun when I'm done. Yay. All right, cool. So it looks pretty straightforward, right? So awesome. Let's go ahead and show you some of the tools I'm going to use. So I'll slide these little parts aside and bring out some tools. So... Lay this down. First, the best things I like to use and have on hand, and good investments too. Uh, one is a good multimeter. Okay, this is an inexpensive one. The Anang, I think I'm saying that right. 
the SC301. I review this one. It's a pretty inexpensive one. Uh, this is perfect for small projects. Uh, it does all the readings you need. If you need to test anything, continuity, that's a big one. Check your circuits to make sure you made connection. Uh, okay, so when you're soldering, paste flux. Not a bad thing to have. I like using paste flux versus liquid flux because you could take a toothpick, dip it into, it's like a waxy material. Uh, I'd show you, it's pretty nasty looking. This is old, <laughs> but it lasts forever. And you put the stuff on your component and stays there until you heat it. Then the heat will actually liquefy it and cause a nice uh, joint when you add your solder. So very handy to have if you're having a, a tough to solder joint. And of course, speaking of solder or solder, solder if you're in England, solder if you're in the U.S. because we rebelled. <laughs> it's pretty funny, but it's true. I did some history on the word. <laughs> there you go. So this is the uh, 6040. I like to use this kind. Um, it's a tin tin lead based, and yeah, it, it works pretty good. Um, I don't like the lead free stuff. It just doesn't melt. The melting temperature is too high. And I like a little lower melting temp. Okay, so that's off there. Okay, and then we have some awesome flush cutters. I like to use these, these are bad boys. So yeah, they're nice flush cutters to cut the component legs off. You don't want to leave them hanging there, they look ugly. You can see this is made in the USA. These are Zeron cutters, nice. Yeah, just cut uh, soft component legs. Don't use this to cut like battery terminals or anything hard wire, you'll wreck them. So keep that in mind, these will last you for years. And then we have a pair of like diagonal pliers. Nice for ripping little area. Cool. All right. And then what else do we got going on? We got, uh, oh yeah, here. Oh, we need some precision screwdriver Phillips. Oh, those are handy to have. I like that. Running out of space here. Uh, I like to use a magnifier. This is a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, temp power loop. This is uh, for inspecting. You know, close up uh, on things that you want to see what's going on. You ain't going to miss it with this. <laughs> Very cool. So we got that. And then some wire strippers. Uh, craftsmen out there still have craftsmen out there. I think they do. This was made in the USA too. Yeah. <laughs> Who said things weren't made in the USA still? But tools are. Um, yeah, we got some solder on it. But yeah, these uh, work really good for stripping wires, uh, especially smaller gauge. Eight, uh, we got 16 to 26, is it? Yeah, pretty nice. And you got little strippers here too. Little plier grips in the front. So, yeah, so you can see all the tools I like to have. That's my majority. Whoops, bumping the thing. I also use a headset. This uh, Donegan. These are like binocular magnifiers. These are really nice. And believe it or not, this is made in the USA. If I can get that to focus, I don't know if it'll focus or not. But it does say USA there. Oh, come on, focus, dude. You guys can see. Made in USA. <laughs> now, these are really good. This is an optimizer. I think that's what that's called. Yeah. Made in USA. This is right on there. Okay. <laughs> you get the idea. You can change these lenses out to different uh, ones you like. That's fingerprint on there. Nice. Always getting things dirty when you're working on projects. And then last but not least, I use a soldering station to my right here. I just got the iron. I'm going to show you uh, this brand. Hacko, this is like a premium signing iron. You don't need this. You can use like a Weller 25 watt iron. It'll be fine. Yeah, search Weller Pro. That's a good one. 25 watt. Uh, that's what I used for a long time. Then I upgraded to this. Uh, this is the Hacko FX951 soldering station. It's pretty nice. Um, it's rather expensive. If you get into soldering quite a bit, it's very handy to have. These tips come out here. You see a little release. And you can quick release while this thing's plugged in, which is really nice. And this will be the tip I use, kind of a, a flat blade. You can use a conical tip. I'm a fan of the uh, kind of flat screwdriver type flat blade. So there you go. Cool. That's what I like to use. All right. So let's go ahead and go back to our PCB real quick. And then we'll do a breakaway. And come back to a finished product. So let's just get these out of the way here. Yeah. Make it some noise. Yeah, I like this tester. I have this out. Use it all the time. All right, great. So here is my robot. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to stand with the uh, battery bay there. So that'll be nice. Lean them back. So when I come back, I'll have everything assembled. And I may even have pictures of the build process, though I don't know if I need to. There's 19 components that need to be soldered in. So not a ton. And uh, we should be good to go. All right, so I'm going to fade to black and... 
Maybe we have some pictures, maybe not, and we'll have the finished product. Okay, let's go. Ta-da, it's done. Mr. Robot, this thing is awesome. I'm having fun with it. It's a really cool voice-changing robot. It's a cool kit. Definitely pick one up. Paid link section down below. Get yourself one. Have a good time. <laughs> Actually, I didn't take pictures of the build process because there's three pictures that would be. The back side, the front side, and the back side again. So I said, forget it. So let's look at it. It's complete. So we start on the back side. We're assembling it. First, they have you lay in the four resistors. They tell you how to read them, too, and the instructions. Very simple. Uh, no orientation, of course, with resistors. Just put them in and go. Now, the interesting thing about this is they said you can solder them from the back or from the front. It's up to you. So you can solder uh, right from the front, and you'll just see all your components on the front. It just looks cleaner by soldering from the back. If you solder up front. Now, I didn't do any cleaning. Eh, I got a little bit of solder flux. Maybe I could clean up, but otherwise, not too bad. Uh, so if you're quick, you shouldn't have any problem. So there you go. Uh, next, uh, yeah, the ceramic capacitors. Those were easy. They're disc capacitors. These do not have orientation as well. They're 104s. Get that in the focus. Get the idea right. And next, they have you solder in these three electrolytic capacitors. No polarity is negative uh, top side. So pointing to the head, negative. It's the short leg. So just so you know, and it corresponds to the negative marked on the board. As you can see, negative stripe, negative on top there. Can you see that? Pretty simple. Just align them all the same. They're all negative facing towards the head. Okay, something to keep in mind. What else we got going on? So I think that was pretty much the back. Uh, as far as back components, before we come back to the battery bay. So let's go ahead and flip it back over. Going to the front. They had me put in the switches. So you got four momentary switches. This is the children's voice, monster voice, robot voice, and normal voice. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Uh, they had you solder in the microphone, which is on uh, his right hand. See? Now, if you talk real close to the mic, it's very loud. If you talk away, it's very quiet. So that's kind of nice. You can control the uh, volume uh, by the, how close you are to the microphone. Record button. Record, record button's pretty cool. Uh, it, this one, uh, again, no orientation. You can see there's only two pins. Same with these switches, no orientation. The microphone, I do want to mention before I skip ahead, uh, the microphone is uh, polarity sensitive, so uh, orientate the negative. It has like three little bars coming off of it, like like a little, like this, and that's your negative side. And pretty much, if you put it wrong, the microphone will be like over here. It won't look right. So it's kind of hard to put it in backwards. If it looks funny, it's probably in backwards. But uh, as you can see, it's got a polarity here, negative and positive. Just remember that it's marked on the back of the microphone with three little marks for the negative. Just put it to the negative side. Done. Uh, yeah, so and then this power switch, if you look, there's a little notch on the left-hand side when you're looking at it face on, and you face that towards the arm. Okay, that's what they told me to do, so that's how I did it. That's how you turn it on and off, which I'll show you in a moment. We'll demo it. And, of course, we had the LEDs for the eyes. And you put those in the front, of course, and you're soldering to the back. Make sure polarity, long. Uh, the long lead is your positive, which is the top, and your negative is the bottom one. And the negative is denoted by a flat side on the LED and on the diagram. So if you look at your LEDs, they will have a flat spot marked in them. See how they're kind of molded flat there on one edge and rounded on the top, flat at the bottom? That's how you designate the Negative and positive. Negative is always that flat side. Kind of nice to know, right? So polarity. Speaker. It has a polarity mark. I didn't say which way to put it on, but the picture showed the positive uh, coming to the left-hand side there from the back. So that's how I did the speaker. You fill a little solder on there and then hook them on. That's simple. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, what else do we have? The speaker, the LEDs for the eyes. It covers it all. So the battery bay... It's a very simple thing. Two brass standoffs. Use the round screws on the front, like the kneecaps. I think that's pretty cool. And then the battery bay is held in by two, like, uh, flathead style screws. There you go. And they go to those brass standoffs. Okay. So three AAAs go inside of that. And then you solder the positive to VCC plus and the ground wire to ground. Oh, it's out of focus again. But you get the idea. Again, very simple uh, identity to process, so let's go ahead and turn it on. <laughs> yeah, 
this thing is great. Now, if you can't handle flashing lights, uh, you may not like this kit. You might just have to leave the eyes off. Uh, that's all I can think of because these eyes, they flash all the time and stuff. So if kids can't handle flashing or if you can't handle flashing, just turn off the video or look away and just listen to my audio demo. But uh, let's turn it on. So yeah, they color change and they kind of do different things like when you're recording and then when it's playing back. Uh, I think it's kind of fun. Uh, that's just me personally. So it's on right now. Look at it. It's flashing away. <laughs> it's so cool. And of course it stands. I can't really get a thing of it standing, but it looks cool standing. <laughs> uh, it, Yeah, you can't see it with my camera because I'm overhead. But if I do it this way, it's way too loud because I, I did a recording and I don't want to delete it because it sounds awesome. But I, I may have to like put my hand over it because <laughs> the children one is obnoxious. But let's listen to me. So I'm going to hit the normal, and it's cool because it has up to 30 seconds of recording time, and it's saved when you uh, turn the power off, so it's persistent. So let's go ahead and do what it sounds like with just normal. I am Iron Man. Da, na, 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 da, na, da. Okay, that's loud. <laughs> that may have peaked the meter. Um, let's, uh, <laughs> let's go to the monster. I like the monster. I love that one. It's hilarious. And then we got the robot. The robot sounds cool, too. I am Iron Man. <laughs> and now we got the annoying kid sound. So I'm just going to kind of cover it because it's really shrill. So I'm going to cover this. Yeah, that would like bust your eardrums if I didn't cover that. <laughs> So what do you think? Pretty cool? Yeah, I'm loving it. It is amazing. <laughs> I'm leaving that recording because my life, my little life, my wife will get a kick out of it. Totally. So there it is. I'll be going to just turn this off. There it is. The Virg Vigor Time VT39 Robot Voice Changer Kit. I'm laughing because it's so much fun. It, this thing is fantastic. Uh, like I said, it's, uh, if it's on sale, 13 bucks. pick yourself up one. I think even at 15 bucks, it's worth it's just fun. I mean, it, yeah, it doesn't serve any purpose other than a novelty for the kids to have fun with. And you could have fun with it. I had fun with it. <laughs> As you heard, I love this little thing. All right. Well, there it is. We're done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give a big like if you liked it. Uh, two, if you like Vigor Time Kits, you want to see more, hit subscribe to the bell icon. Get notified of future uh, kit reviews. I have been talking with them. Uh, and I'm on, I keep pointing out that they need to make a shortwave radio kit. And if they do make one, I will feature it here on the channel and build it. I really want a company to produce a shortwave kit. It would be fantastic. Uh, something nice quality uh, that works well. That's what we're hoping for. And uh, they're working it out. So we'll see what they produce. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. So yay. I'm not sure. Did I make any? Yeah, no, everything looks good. Yeah, everything looks nice and clean. Not bad. I like this kit. Put together really fast, like a half hour at the most. So, yeah, definitely rocking. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on my next awesome video.